Today on Robert Knows, we find out why explosives are needed on a construction site. Why doesn't such a large crane topple over? What is that huge ball used for? And check out the cool construction vehicles there on the big construction site in Claymo City. See it all on... Everyone keep back. Please keep safe, everyone. We'll do that. Wow. Check out the big excavator over there. Yes, and look at the huge crane behind it. Can't it easily topple over? No. The bottom of the crane is very heavy. Much heavier than anything that is above it. Heavier than the tower. Heavier than the arm. Heavier than the cabin. That keeps it stable. And if the crane picks up a load, the concrete blocks on the other end of the arm keep it balanced. Even so, I'm not sure I would be brave enough to climb up there. But the view from there must be awesome. Attention! We're about to blow up the building. What? what? Don't worry. Sometimes the easiest way to clear away an old building is to use explosives. It's certainly the quickest way. The amount of dynamite required and where it needs to be placed in the building are carefully calculated. Then a controlled explosion is done to keep everyone safe. With real explosives? Cool! Can we stay and watch the explosion? Please, Mom? Please, Dad? Well, okay, but then we have to go home. Absolutely. Uh, I mean, do we have to watch this? Super! Super. <laughs> Attention! Blasting! <laughs> Attention! We are blasting now! Uh, I mean, was that it? Wait a moment. <laughs> it's pretty dusty, but isn't there something still standing there? What on earth is that? That is a wrecking ball. The ball is made of solid steel and must be as heavy as possible. When the crane then swings the ball, its weight creates a very powerful force that can knock down an entire wall of a building. The wrecking ball is used to knock over any walls of the building that are still standing after an explosion. Wow! Using it must be a real blast! Yes, you are right. I would love to do that too. Or maybe drive the big excavator. Oh, I can't decide. That is a wheel loader. It can lift up very heavy chunks of rubble or boulders. It also has a bigger shovel than a normal excavator. It can be used to remove the building rubble quickly. With the truck here? That's right. It's called a dump truck, and it is used to transport the rubble to a disposal site. It is similar to a dump for trash, but for construction rubble. Now the area that has been cleared of rubble can be prepared for the new building. First of all, the foundation is poured. This creates a firm surface to support the building. Here comes the cement mixer. Say, Robert, why is that big barrel always spinning around like that? That is called a drum. The drum only rotates if the truck is carrying a load of cement. Cement is a liquid to begin with. 
but it quickly becomes hard. So hard that it can be used to construct tall buildings. The rotation keeps the cement moving inside the drum at all times so that it cannot become hard. And why are the construction workers building a wooden frame like that? That will become the formwork, which is a kind of mold for the foundation. The liquid cement is poured into it. Once it has hardened, the wooden formwork is removed. Wow, look over there. There's a huge truck coming. That is a load loader. These types of load loaders are often used to transport heavy loads. It looks like the parts for the new building have arrived already. The construction workers of Playmo City really work very hard. I'm sure that big crane will unload them now. Can we wait and watch until the new building is finished? That will take several weeks, Bennett. There is still a lot of work to do building the basic walls. Apart from that, work is now finished for the day on the construction site. Too bad. Well, the cement mixture was definitely the coolest. No, the explosion. Oh, wait, the wrecking ball. That was the coolest. Then again, the low loader wasn't exactly uncool. The crane was the coolest thing, Robert. I think I want to be a crane driver when I grow up. Why not? That sounds very exciting. When you're a crane driver, will you let me operate the crane? Well, we'll see. You're going to have to be extra nice to me until no then. No problem. I'll even make your breakfast, and I will always share my candy with you. But first, you have to become a crane driver and let me operate the crane. Hey, what's that? I think it would be pretty cool to drive an ambulance, too. Why do they drive with blue flashing lights? That's a good question, but I'll explain it to you the next time. Bye. See you soon. Ha 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 